The carpet's dripping. Is it wet? Oh my god. Hello folks and welcome you join me as part two of my project with the BMW 7 Series E38. In case you haven't seen the video go check that out of where I purchased a 1997 R-Edge E38 BMW 740i. Now the reason why I purchased one of these is the fact that this was the car that got me into BMWs and also I am a bit of a James Bond fanatic so ever since I saw the movie Tomorrow Never Dies I fell in love with this E38 7 Series and it's been my plan to turn this car into somewhat of a bit of a beast. Now, 7 Series are quite gangster to look at in the first place already, but I want it to look just like the car from Tomorrow Never Dies with the M parallel wheels in this Aspen Silver. But before anything else, this car does need a service because it's been sat for four or five years and the owner only took it out once a year to get it basically an MOT. God knows how it passed, I have no idea. This car is feeling a little bit sorry for itself. It's been left outside, it's got mold, it's got damp, it's got a few other bits wrong with it. The engine runs fine, it's fantastic but there are a couple of issues and a couple of electrical faults. So we're gonna find that out today, get this car up on the ramp, see what it's like in terms of basically giving it a good old service, oil filter, air filter change, as well as a flush in the gearbox with it. And my man to help me is Will. He's a friend of mine, wave to the camera, say hello. Hello. That's a thumbs up, that's not a it's wave. It's not a wave, but it'll do, will Yeah, it will do. You have had all sorts of BMWs. You've uh, had an E38 before, you've had an E30. You put a V8 in an E30 once, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, that was good a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, you put an RB25 in an E30. You, yep. You're basically a lunatic, aren't you, with BMWs? I wouldn't go that far. There's worse people, but... So you've seen this car. You actually yep. saw it before camera. And um, what do you think of it? It's not terrible. Obviously, it needs a little bit of tidying up around the edges. Um, good service. Um, check over everything. Lovely. Let's see what we find. So the main issue this car has is gearbox. Yep. It won't select gear sometimes. Yep. It will pack up. I tried to do a burnout the other day. It decided to pack up altogether. I know that's a first world problem for the BMW E38, but it does need to run for a couple of more weeks before yep. I decide to put a manual gearbox in this car. Um, it does need an oil change, air filter service and that. The engine runs fine. Yeah, 4.4 V8. Um, Non-Vanos. Non-Vanos, which is nice, because uh, the facelift cars had the Vanos, and it's not the four liter either, which had the, was it top heads? Uh, no, this, the, it's pr practically the same engine. Um, obviously, the four liter had duple X change, it was better chain setup on the four liter. Okay. Um, and then they ones. changed it to the uh, Chinese parts, didn't they? Yeah. Basically, it's a better engine. Uh, yeah, it's a yeah. It's the better of of them rather yeah. than the Vanos ones. Some, to be fair, some people like them. It all depends on what you want it for, what you want to use it for, and stuff like that. These are less lo less likely to go wrong. While this is up on the wrap, please like and subscribe to these videos, We're trying to do three, four a week, and also document the BMW E38 7 Series with this project, as well as the Clio 182, as well as doing car reviews as well too. Check me out on Instagram, at Sid North as well too. Just check out for more hooligan madness that Will doesn't really approve of. But anyway, Will, um, show me underneath the car. We need to, you've had a bit of an inspection of this already. Yeah, you know? um, obviously you were saying the tracking was out. Obviously yes. the steering was massively Right hand down, I think it was, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, right, uh, left hand down, massive, but um, yeah. Got a bent lower control arm. Okay, which is um, different to that. That, that should be nice and straight. That's bent. Yeah, obviously, probably. which is pulling the toe, out, toe uh, out of the line as well as the camber of the wheel, so it's not going to drive. There's no point in trying to track it up today with a bent arm like that. Lovely. Um, it's pretty solid underneath. A few little wall leaks. Um, that's obviously going to be the gearbox, one of the gearbox issues. Yep. Uh, but we'll get to that later on. Lovely. Um, um, rust, because obviously these things like yeah, to rust. The, that's the fuel tank, the, isn't it? All the seals are, well, obviously they've got plastic cover, but on a quick inspection, without taking all the covers off, looks absolutely fine. Tiny little bit of corrosion at the back, but nothing too major. Cool. Um, this has also got fuel tank, yeah. sadly. Common problem on these. I don't want to move it, just in case that is holding all your expensive fuel back. But it's got tenor in it, mate. Oh. Don't worry about it. Bar, it's actually... It is a, it's a lot cleaner than it looks on the outside, that's for sure. Yep, yeah, cool. And um, this car isn't running on air suspension. That means less that's, issues as yes, well, which is uh, better. I'm not too sure how many of these actually do. If I remember correctly, the facelift cars, didn't they have a... I'm not too sure. ...the air suspension as well? I'm not but maybe sure. I've never read up on it that much, you'll see. Most of the time I'd probably um, 
take it off and put it on coilovers anyway so yeah you you and your coilovers this bloke likes to slam cars turn e38s into drift cars so we're probably in two different worlds really i'm turning mine into something like that but also into something that's uh, quite elegant and discreet almost like a sleeper as you can see the 7 series is up on the ramp i can just visualize it already with this car like i can literally picture it limited slip diff in parallel wheels it's all going to look good hopefully covid19 doesn't delay any of these bits so oil change has been done oil change done air filter's done yep obviously new oil filter lovely check the gear roll we've added uh three quarters of a liter yep obviously stationary without it running it's been sitting for what an hour now yep an hour while we check everything else over uh, obviously now we've got to get up in the air run through the gears yep holding each gear for a certain amount of time usually three to four seconds and they recommend for these gearboxes and then recheck the oil um, to make sure it's still got enough in it. If not, just top it up. Usually, you have to top them up, top them up a little bit after. So um, yeah, obviously we've got diagnostics plugged in, so we can monitor the gearbox. All temperatures have to be um, in a certain temperature range. Cool. Um, go from there. But now I've got to jump in it, do a procedure, put it in reverse, neutral drive, drive manual mode. Gears. Yep. Okay, cool. And then you go put me up in the air. On the put you up in the air. Okay. And check it again. Starts lovely. Now just uh, select it into reverse, hold it for three seconds. Yep, yeah, and then go through all the gears. We'll do that a couple of times to make sure the gear box has got all the oil in the correct places. It's not just putting fluid in and then off you no, go. No, it's really. obviously the gearbox has a, will have a pump in it, which is only activated whilst the engine is running. Okay. Obviously, it needs to pump the fluid round, um, otherwise, it might have the right level in the sump, but then once the oil's everywhere, the sump could be empty. Okay. And then it's just going to suck up air and you're going to have similar symptoms to what you got and it will eventually just kill the gearbox. Okay, cool. Wicked. So, park into reverse right now. Hold yep. it for three seconds. Lovely foot on the brake. Keep that going. Select neutral. Yep. And three seconds drive. for that. Drive. Then knock it into sport mode. Yes, there is a sport mode on the Steptronic gearbox. Put that down. That's first gear. Second. Three seconds for second gear, up to third, it, three seconds for third it gear. It will only go as high as third while it's stationary as okay. well. So if you try and go to fourth and put it on the dash, it will only it will just knock it straight back down to third again. Oh yeah, it won't do it, will it? Ah, ah, it's very clever. But it's quite cool the fact that you can pull away in third in this. Was it yeah, for think, towing reasons? I think that's more of a. It might even be due to snow and stuff like that. You've got less chance of getting wheel spin. So that seems to be fine yeah, now, so go it? back all the way back to park. Right, so... It will take you up in the air. Second. I'll check the fluid and uh, we'll see how we can. And drive. Then neutral. Then reverse. Just got to let it sit for three seconds. And then park. And now we've got... The uh, Grand Cabrio. So cool though, I've still got the telephone here. Which is saying insert sim. And sadly, it is not illuminating in that lovely orange, nor is the dial sadly, which is a problem that we are going to try and solve and see what the issue is. It could be a bad earth, it could be a bad wire. What I'm loving, progress is being made. This has only been a couple of days since I've done the last video and we're already going straight into business, giving this car service. Then I'm gonna find a manual gearbox for this. Seven series, should have a manual gearbox, should have a limited slip diff, and also should be running tip top. But first, this car needs to run tip top and I need to leave this automatic gearbox game for a little while until I go on the hunt for a manual gearbox. But, oh, I'm so happy, so, so happy, and stuff is being done. Everyone can talk on YouTube and say that they're planning this and say that I'm planning that, and I'll be honest with you, I am a victim of that. I can talk for England, but I never get stuff done. But I'm glad I'm getting this done, so I'm so determined to get this 740i looking properly fresh. So we've had that plugged in with the diagnostics. Yeah, we've had we that. found all the faults on uh, the Yeah, engine. there was a few in the engine, mainly due to where the battery run flat, and it was jump style and stuff like that. So we've cleared all them. Unfortunately, wasn't really much in the way of like the, if uh, the body control module or anything like that had a fault yep. due to headlights, but I'm pretty sure these don't really have a body control module as such. Once we had uh, we re-topped up the gearbox again whilst the car was running, I think it was three quarters of a litre to a litre in it again. Yeah. Obviously with that leak, so over the last few years this car driving back, it slowly lost its oil through that slight leak. Yeah, because um, of the cover, isn't it? Yeah, we just hope it hasn't done any major da damage to the gearbox, yep. but then as long as it prevents it from going within the next couple of days yeah. and 
prolongs the life of the gearbox another couple of weeks. Yeah, grenading. That's what we want to do. Yeah, if we prevent it from grenading, yeah. then that would be quite nice. So, What's next now? Um, right. Because um, we've done oil change, yeah. oil filter, gearbox. air filter, gearbox. That's done. So it's now checking the electrics. Yeah, we'll, pull it off, we'll pull it backwards off the ramp so we can get the doors open. Yep. Um, and we'll just go through any wire we can find that might look a bit suspect. Um, fuses, relays, stuff like that. Because it could even be a relay that just not clicking in properly. Lovely. Due to uh, water damage or something like that. Obviously, it has been, hasn't done many moles, has it? No. In the last couple of years, so it's no, been sitting. So, yeah, any corrosion, any terminals, plugs, just try and find it. Find the problem. Yeah. Find the problem. This is the tedious bit now, isn't it? Electrics. Yeah, so then we have come to have a look in the boot where the batteries sit and where the battery terminals sit. And what have you found, Will? I see, it's, it's nothing major. A little bit of corrosion there, obviously. It's that sort of thing we're looking for on maybe one of these relays or something up here. Okay. Um, so you've got a little few, just a few fuses here, so we'll check all them out as well. Oh, um, and obviously we're gonna have to put the battery clamp back in. Oh, it hasn't been put in by the previous person. That doesn't really help the way I drive it either. That's three points. No, it ain't. For a loose battery, yeah. It's three points for a loose battery. Um, I think, yeah. You get done for it by the old bill. Uh, loose battery, um, they can put a, I believe it's a PG9 on your car. What does that mean, um, PG9? Take your car off the road, take the MIT off the car, so you have to have it remoted. They've got to catch me first. <laughs> <laughs> Something new about this 7 Series, what was it? Uh, if your petrol flat fouls, you can pull that and it'll pop it open manually. Oh, wicked. That's that's really it's, it's basically if, you're, if you've locked the car, um, obviously you can open the boot with a key, and you can do that manually rather than the motor doing it. And so, under the glove box we find more fuses. Did you say there's rust? There's a lot of corrosion on some of the fuses, so we could take them out, new fuses in where needed, um, clean up the terminals and just see, see, see if that helps it. any of the issues. The box was no help, and now we're, we're going in deep, aren't we? We're going in real deep. The carpet's it's dripping. Is it wet? Oh my God. Not good. And where some of the guttering's been blocked. It's possible, anything, anything's possible, obviously. No rust though, which is... No, you... Sign. To be honest, the shells on these are quite strong, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know if they really go rusty. No, they don't. Not like the other BIMs of this sort of era. Okay then, so we're gonna call it, an, what, an evening? Yeah. Like, that's the yeah, end of it, yeah. yeah it's, been, it's been a few hours. So, oil filter, air filter. Uh, gearbox oil. Yes. Um, uh, obviously it needs a lower arm, uh, fuel tank. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, you figured out the problem is the light control module in yep. the driver's kit panel. Yeah. Um, Hence why we can't that. get any of the yeah. illumination of the lights. Um, so we need we need that. Yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Yeah. It's not bad evening's work. But it's not bad evening's work at all, and I have to thank you for that, uh, for sure. But there is still more to go. But uh, the main thing is, is to get this car running properly. Uh, you know, get it, yeah. get it running like a normal 7 Series, and then eventually modifying it. But um, hopefully the gearbox will hold up for a little bit. <laughs> who knows? Uh, who knows? Who it's 50, knows? 50 50 isn't it? 50 50 but it is leaking a little bit of gearbox food but we're not going to bother too much about it because we're going to put a manual gearbox in the car. Um, so I'm going to have to end the video there but so far this car has had a nice service, some love, some bit of TLC and we're only going to further continue this. So the next video will be uh, lower arm, light module, tracking, tracking um, and then oh yeah the summary. Sunroof, yeah. Yes, fix the sunroof. So, uh, might have to put headlining after that. Really? Yeah. Might give me a chance to clean the headlining. Yeah. So, yeah, there we go. That's another video to come. So, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this, uh, well, sort of beginning of many, many projects to become with the 70s. I don't think it's that bad of a project, to be honest. It's not that bad. No, it's, it's, you could have bought a lot worse. Yeah, yeah. There, there's, there's a lot worse out there you could have bought. Yeah, so luckily, I've been um, very lucky with this one. And uh, yeah, so far, it's been so very good. Anyway, like, subscribe as always. Please hit the bell notification icon to check out for more content on the BMW 7 Series. Follow me on Instagram at sid.north and make sure you check in for the next video to come. Until next time, folks, see you later.